This is Twit. You wanted to talk, Amy, about this site. This person does not exist. I think it was you, Amy, right? This person oh, does yeah, not yeah. exist. This is yeah, so a really it. creepy site. That yep. person doesn't exist. That's an AI generated using a technique called GAN. Generative uh, adversarial networks, right. That was built by a guy named Philip, who's a former, I think he was a software engineer at, at um, Google. And he just took a publicly available um, uh, GAN and uh, system built by NVIDIA. Do you, and, do you have to have a bunch of faces in a database? Well, I mean, there are, there are plenty of corpora that are available. Um, NVIDIA actually built something like this simil uh, somewhat similarly not too long ago. And if you go on the site toward the bottom, it was there the other day. I don't know if he took it off. Um, it, there's a little explainer, a uh, couple of links that shows the research and like where all of this came from. There you go. And uh, how he did it. The short answer is um, this is actually not all that complicated to do. Mm -hmm. um, and that is why after this came out, there were many other copycat sites making automatically generated images of other things. Oh, such really? As cats. Oh, yeah. is there a cats version of this? There is. So, so go. So the um, really quickly, generative adversarial networks are kind of like two systems playing the Turing test against each other, trying oh, to fool each other until they come up with something that's believable. And so, Nvidia has been. So working that's the on adversarial this. part. They're fighting each right. other. Oh, and this is a relatively new area, like a new branch of artificial intelligence research. So that's interesting. However, this cat does not exist, will give you <laughs> nightmares because um, some of the cats that are automatically generated look kind of normal. Um, I have seen things. <laughs> so if I have seen things. <laughs> I have seen things I cannot unsee. That, that's not that bad. I should send you guys some photos. That one's pretty bad. Um, I saw one where a cat's <laughs> face got... Oh, <laughs> oh, Lordy. They're bad. They're really bad. Um, wow. So is this just a poorly designed algorithm? Or is well, it harder this, with cats? Yeah, you'd it's think there'd be enough cat pictures that you could find a good like set of information <laughs> to interpolate. There's them. a hole in that leopard. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Um, that's I think own. I live with these cats. These look like my cats. That's Some of them are, are not so bad. Yeah. Oh, I don't know cool. if this is really there doing. You <laughs> did you see that? I did. Show it again. I missed it. Oh, my, oh my God. So that's a catman. Cat, hum, hue cat. It's like a cat. It's human a cat certain per cat. That's yeah. like the fresco <laughs> that they destroyed. That's <laughs> like the woman who painted At the that face. church. Yeah. That's what that looks like. <laughs> wow. Okay, so this but, is probably not the best use of GAN I've ever seen. No, but but it is important because um, this same idea. So if you think about artificial intelligence from the very beginning, we've sort of built AI with the understanding that it would either beat us or replicate us. Um, so so that is what we're starting. That's that's what this is. So this person does not exist as a, a generative adversarial network. Um, this is a is hard, that's a hard thing to do because we are very subtly tuned as humans to recognize and, uh, flaws, errors. And, it, right. this, and this looks the, like real people. These look like people yeah, you know. Yeah. That's right. I mean, there's some, it's a little janky. So some of the, you can see some, you know. It ain't bad. No, it's not so bad at all. It's not bad I, at all. I have some fears about this for like a lot of jank, different reasons. Yeah. And I don't want to I don't want to make this all political, but you know, there one of the ways you find out if uh, someone like harassing you online is a bot is you look at the picture that right. they're using. And generally it comes from another person's uh, like photo online. Uh, there was a piece this week uh, basically by women of color talking about what they were talking about is digital blackface, like basically people uh, using avatars of people of color online to kind of oh, yeah. represent themselves. We've had that to happen. Derail, right, yeah. to derail yeah. conversations. Yeah. It's easy for me to imagine this technology being used as another uh, component in, in information warfare to basically you know, give bot armies that much more um, 
believability might be the word. So I realize like this kind of, uh, you've got two AIs battling each other. It's not hard to do. This kind of technology is inevitable. But I do think it's worth thinking about how this is going to affect information warfare. 